All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, 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 Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Happy Super Bowl Sunday. A Florida team is in it. I'm pretty pumped. And let's get this thing Super Bowl Sunday kicked off on the right foot. Who's the good girl? Good girl Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah, good girl Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800 878 9698. Bodie Hotline, Fun Line. Call the Bodie Line. She'd love to hear from you. Say your name, where you're from. Sing your little zippity doo dah. We'll do a little sing along with you. A little pun, a little joke. Say something cute, something that's going on in your life. You want us to bounce off of it and, you know, throw our two, three, four, five, seven cents in. We'd be happy to. And that's the way we do it over here, Dean Bodie Show. We love your rough edges. So give it a call. Hey, don't forget to give a thumbs up and a like. Hit the like button and hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss any of these shows because these are real shows. We're coming at you daily, Dean Bodie. Your tri daily, bi daily, bi weekly, tri weekly, sometimes quad weekly. And if you've been listening, the weeks at Dean Bodie over here are eight days, not seven. What is he, a crazy person? Hey, that's how we do it over here, Dean Bodie. Oh, yeah. So. On the website, DeanBody.com, we got the links on there. I want to get you over to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. The other one will get you over to the YouTube channel, the social link. Just click on it. It'll blast you right over there. It's like one of Elon Musk's rockets, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I space show, YouTube channel. Oh, man, Tampa Bay. Man, I used to live there. Listen, I'm from Miami. I got the Dolphin shirt on today, and we're doing the orange, uh, you know, the what do you call it here? This, uh, you know, this orange fuzzy thing that I'm talking into. They call it a, uh, they call it a, what do you call it? They call it a, um, you know, a, uh, it stops the, uh, the plosives from the puh and the t. It calms all that down. Um, and, you know, I forget the actual name. It'll probably come to me sooner or later, but it, it, that's what it does. Okay, I used to have that big disc, that garbage can lid. You couldn't even see my face on the video. It was so big. Now, we got these other little fuzzy little things that we like. And they're fun, different colors and things. And we got the dolphin colors going today because it's football day. That's why, even though we're not in the Super Bowl, you got to wear your team colors. So that being said... Go Tampa! And it's kind of crazy being from Miami. We never liked the Patriots. We never will like the Patriots. And anybody in that division we don't like. We don't like the Jets. We don't like the Buffalo Bills. You know, the whole, that whole category. Forget about it. So Tom Brady... I mean, I'm all of a sudden, I'm rooting for the guy. (laughs) He happened to pick Tampa. And listen, man, this is like his 10th Super Bowl... And uh, even A-L-E-X-A voted in on what she was predicting, and she's predicting Kansas City, and she said if Tom Brady wants to win another ring, he's going to have to go to Saturn. How's that for like a little A-L-E-X-A, little jab in the you-know-what? I didn't think that she was going to pick sides, but she is today. Pretty funny, man. And, uh... We can start it off with something cool from A-L-E-X-A, my wonderful sidekick, who I love very much. Um, Hey, Alexa, what's the joke of the day? Today I have a football joke. Why does it only cost $2 to see a football game in Tampa Bay? Because they only charge a buccaneer. Hey! (laughs) Why does it only cost $2 to get a ticket over there, Tampa Bay? Because they only charge a buck an ear. Wow, not bad, A-L-E-X-A. Much better than the last time. We have a good crowd today. All right. So listen, I have, I make a kabumi juice, those of you that have been listening, and as I'm going through this keto diet and I'm doing my stuff to help cleanse out the kidneys and the liver and get everything functioning better, and I think pretty sure I'm on the right track as I'm in ketosis and I'm checking it every day and my levels Yada, yada, yada. So I make a kabumi juice. Now I had to make a different kind the other day. Let's just call it kabumi juice number two. It was kind of forced on me because I ran out of celery. Uh Uh-oh, no more celery. So let's see what we do have. I had some ginger, 
fresh, I had some onion. Onion is a big time anti-inflammatory too. So I said, let's do a kabumi juice, but instead of the celery, we're going to have to use onion and ginger and the fat water from the Bulletproof guy, which has the MCT oil in it. Recommend it. I love the stuff they got. Pineapple flavor, lemon lime. They got grapefruit flavor with the MCT oil. Who would come up with something called fat water? Just the name alone makes you want to get it. So, and uh, so I made the kabumi juice number two. Again, we have onion, okay, uh, ginger, and um, the fat water. Now, usually it's not onion; it's celery. But this time it was onion, and we did it. We drank it down, and the only thing I want to say about Kabumi Juice number two is you're going to need a little extra toilet time, a little extra letter toilet time, yada da 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 extra toilet time, oh yeah, you're going to need a little extra toilet time, a little extra extra toilet time, yada da 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 ba da ba zip. Yeah, big time. So it turns out that the onion goes right through you like a rocket ship. Okay, so anyway, it worked. It cleansed it out. But let me tell you, I wasn't ready for the power of that puppy. I think I put a little too much onion in there, raw onion, and um, capital kaboomy. Let's just say that. So that being said, I'm going to turn over here to my sound effect thing. And this is kind of how it went down. So, and, oh, yeah, <laughs> extra toilet time, big time. So, I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. da 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 da, da. So hold me and smile for me. Maybe that you'll pray for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Man, I don't know why that song came in my head today, but it did. And then right after that this morning, it followed up with... Raindrops keep falling on my head Just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling Nothing's worrying me Those two songs back to back him in my head That's what I woke up to today After some kind of crazy dream I don't know, man. And that's how we're getting the day started. Wow, right? So I have a neighbor, and she thinks we live in a farm. Guess what? We don't. She's got two cats, a dog. I don't know what else she's got up there. But she lets the cats run wild out back, do whatever they want to do. She's one of those that walks out the front with the dog with no leash. She's got a little shit zoo, walks around and, the, you know, calls the dog and it kind of comes and sometimes it doesn't. It's just irresponsible, just lazy. The cats are running around and creeping in and out of other people's balconies. You know, these you, you got to take care of your pets. First of all, obviously, they're not taking it to the vet, probably not updated on its shots and whatever. So... Who's feeding the things, right? They're going to run across the street and they eat lizards and rats and all this other stuff that stray cats are going to do. And they're bringing diseases around and spreading it around everywhere else. We don't need that on top of the corona, the COVID and all that other stuff. We don't need rat juice, lizard juice dripping all over the balconies. Now, second thing is, it kind of scares Bodie. You know what? You got this black cat walking around the back just kind of lurching around and whatever, man, just kind of got this kind of attitude, kind of just like creeping everybody out. So that being said, I got to do something, man. You can't be messing with Bodie. You can't walk on our balcony and put your paw prints 
you know, uh, mittens on Bodie's bed and all that stuff. I'm not doing that. And it's not our job to take everybody, everybody else's pets and other people start leaving food out for him and all that. Listen, this is not what this is neighborhood is all about so i had to call the office and said listen i need some help over here we got some cats running around they're responsible and she goes oh well over there is just some guy living by himself i'm like oh well i don't know i see three kids coming out of there a girl or this or that where i live it's everything what the off then what the office thinks is going on in each apartment (laughs) <laughs> Every time I talk to them, oh yeah, it's just a girl moving in by herself. Next thing I know, there's four kids, um, a, a cousin, a whatever, and all this other crazy stuff going on. So the one person puts the name on the lease, moves in seven other people, and it's crazy land. That being said, we'll see what happens with the farm lady and what's going on with all those pets. But So I see her walking around the other day. And her dog runs across the um, the parking lot over here. Cars are coming in. The thing almost gets hit by a car. It runs onto the grassy area up on the curb there, does its business, and then it follows her back in. And I'm like, do you know what's going on with these cats around here? Oh, yeah, well, the one white one's mine. I'm like, well, there's a black one, too, walking around. Yeah, that's ours, too. We just can't get them to stay in the house. Oh, I have an idea. Don't let them out. Hey, Millie! Yeah! You hear what he's going through with this neighbor with the pets and the cats running around? We had a neighbor like that once, remember? Let his pets out, run around all over the place. And going in people's backyard. Yeah, I remember that. That's irresponsible. You can't do that. And listen, Bodie doesn't need that kind of stress. Wow. Unbelievable. What's going on over there, Dean Bodie? So anyway, that's what's going on over here with the crazy thing, the crazy neighbor who thinks it's a farm and the Kabumi juice number two. Whoa, let's see what's going on over here, Dean Bodie Show. We don't want to shortchange anybody, Dean Bodie. zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine coming our way. zippity doo da, zippity a. Oh, the succulents are dying one by one. The earwax... Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you something. Speaking of the Kabumi juice, it reminds me of an ex-girlfriend I had one time when I was going through a bodybuilding phase and with these bodybuilding diets. Let me just say, a lot of gas. And <laughs> we, we were living together at the time. And, you know, I would be sleeping and, and let out some gas. And it was, it was pretty awful. I, I got to admit. But the person that I was with, God bless her, would jump out of bed, yell at me at the top of her lungs and tell me to get out. Right. And um, it was like a time where, I don't know, she had two kids and, and they would be visiting their dad out of the country. And I think it was the time she would get out and I would go force me to sleep in her son's room or something like that because it was the smell was so bad. What are you going to do? I'm trying to get in shape. You can't have everything. <laughs> so it reminds me of that. So that was a kind of like a pretty crazy land for some reason when I thought about that after that Kabumi juice number two. Now that I live by myself and with Bodhi, we handle each other in our own little whatever smells and businesses. I don't have to deal with the yelling and the screaming. So it just made me think of, wow, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> It was so over the top. It was a little nutty. So, you know, besides that, okay, the succulent plants that I have that I get from Pro Flowers, they're adorable. Why they call them succulents, I really don't know. Because you don't eat them. They're not succulent like a, like a piece of fruit or a juicy apple or something like that. Don't really know why they call them that. Maybe because they're cute. And, you know, like the English language does from time to time, you can swap you know, the word over here and over there and shuffle it around with different things, I guess. And that's kind of the succulent plants are these little cacti plants and these little pots too. They come in these little ceramic pots. They're adorable and they're cool to put around the apartment. And the weird thing is they last pretty long, but when they do die, (laughs) they're very dramatic with their death. 
And if you take your hand, right, and let's say you bring all the fingers together, and then you fan them out, like put your fingers and fan them out all the way, that's what happens to the succulents when they die. All of them just kind of fan out and go, I'm done, and it's over, and you got to throw it out. So um, <laughs> that being said, the succulents around here, I had about, let me see, three, six, seven, eight, nine, about a dozen of them around. You know, a couple by the nightstands, a couple um, on my dresser in my room and around the living room and things and the end tables. They're really cool and uh, to have them scattered around. And little by little, I think I'm down to like about four now. And it's getting to the time where I might have to just redo the whole plantage because after a while, they just don't last forever. But these braided money trees are like hanging in there big time. Uh, I got three of them left and the succulents that are hanging in there. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. But eventually we're going to have to replace them all. And Pro Flowers does a great job. I always get my stuff from them. They got some cool plants and um, they have great flowers. If you want to send anybody some flowers or birthday or whatever, they always get you dialed in. I've actually used them like the day before the date. Okay. Next day delivery and boom, they were there. And you can put a little card on there and put your little message and they nail it. They nail it every time. So that being said, that's what's going on over here, man. I'm excited about the Super Bowl. And uh, this is going to be some game. It looks like the weather is going to be good over there in Tampa. And, uh, you know, let's see what else is going on over here. And I did make some awesome sweet potato bakers the other day. Monster sweet potatoes I got from Whole Foods. And, uh, oh, man. And let me tell you, Bodie's Dog Park and the Turkey Tendons. These sweet potatoes that I got, first of all, before I do that, on the one episode, Cauliflower Pizza and Wings... I said shout out to Urban Eats. It's not Urban Eats. It was Urban Bricks, like brick oven pizza. My apologies because the place is the bomb. And I got the cauliflower crust pizza again with the vegan cheese, the vegan pepperoni, the pesto instead of the tomato sauce. And I got the red onion on there and the olives and the artichoke. Home run again, and the wings are on point. And I use the ranch dressing from Primal Kitchen that you can get as a dressing. No dairy, no nothing. It's dialed in keto big time. And you use that for the dipper, and um, you're dialed in, man. So I'm learning different things. It's kind of fun, but I wanted to make that correction. You know, and uh, I realized it wasn't urban, uh, urban Eats. It was Urban Bricks. Brick oven pizzas rock. So Bodie the other day too at the dog park, I meant to finish this story because the one lady at the end, and I talk about this on my previous episode, who had the dog that didn't do anything. It was a dud. It was a bump on a stump. It was a lump on a stump. Doing nothing, boring. Bodie tried to get it to play. It wouldn't play and it didn't work out very well. But before anybody got there, I brought Bo one of Bodie's bully sticks out there and one of her turkey tendons. She loves these turkey tendons. They're like really razor thin, but they're crunchy. And she, she, she loves to snack on them. So I brought one of those, one of each of those out there. And uh, she didn't really get into it in the beginning. She was more into let's play with the tennis ball. Let's run around a little bit. And when that girl came with her dog... <laughs> When they weren't getting along, all of a sudden at the end, her dog finds Bodie's turkey tendon and starts starts chewing. <laughs> I'm laughing because, number one, the dog was already irritating Bodie because it wouldn't play. Now the dog is eating one of Bodie's favorite treats. So Bodie's across the park staring at this dog, chowing down on the turkey tendon in amazement like, Looking at me like, can you believe this thing? Huh? And she gives me the whole like, 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 like she would if she was human, take the paw, like, ah, whatever. So the owner starts chasing her dog across the dog park, trying to get the turkey tendon. And the dog was running away with the turkey tendon until it devoured the entire thing. Obviously, 
these treats are winners with not just Bodie, but this dog went right through that turkey tendon like it was like a chainsaw, like a buzz saw, and got it all the way down. I just thought it was funny because the owner was like, what is she chewing on? What is she eating? She didn't know. And I didn't say anything. I just watched her dog enjoy Bodie's favorite treat and let it at that. And then Bodie, I, Bodie and I ended up leaving and uh, it was just too funny seeing it. Bodie, I'm telling you, it's almost like I'm ready for her to unzip her fox, her wolf coat and a little, and a person's going to come out of there because the way we communicate without words is way more than priceless. Unreal. So these monster sweet potatoes that I got from Whole Foods, let me tell you something. These things are were huge, okay? And they're really easy to make. So the way I did it, put the oven on, I think, I, yeah, 425. And you roll them in tin foil, okay? And I kind of double roll them because... They can burst and, you know, leak sweet potato juice all over your oven. <laughs> so, and on a baking tray, and I had like four huge ones. So roll them all in foil, double roll them, put them in there for like 50 minutes. And uh, if they weren't so big, it probably would take less. But anyway, after 50, they were done. Because I took them out at 40, and they still weren't quite there yet, you know? So I put them in for another 10 minutes. And I could tell they were kind of a little on the softer, softer side, and they were done. And let me tell you, you unwrap these puppies, right? And you cut them into like medallions is how I like to do it. Take some cinnamon, put some cinnamon over them, sprinkle some cinnamon, take a little pink Himalayan salt, pinch of that all over the sweet potatoes, game over they are so crazy good it's ridiculous as a side dish as a whatever in a meal itself but these are low glycemic kind of carb and it fits right in with uh with the keto if you don't go overboard but man um speaking of keto and the gout flare-ups and all the other stuff that i'm going through um i had a little you know a little uh twiggly wiggly as we're gonna call it a little twiggly wiggly in the right toe yesterday and i'm like what's going on there and i said what's going on with that am i having a flare-up or is it just the ketosis and the uric acid crystals are just moving around because of the ketones now and after a little while it just went away okay and it was gone. Before I dove right into like taking something for it or getting worried about it, anticipating a nightmare as I've done before, you know, the Indocin, the culture scene, I better shut it down before I get, because walking is important. Limping is no fun. Taking Bodhi around the neighborhood when you're hobbling around like a yutz is not good. So it went away. And I'm like, wow, so maybe things are just moving around because there's crystals in there in the joints anyway down there. So if it's just moving around as my kidneys are starting to work better, it's going to take time. I'm only just over two, two solid months into this. I mean, really in it. Okay. And so that's pretty wild, right? And then later that night, I felt a little bit of a... Uh, Something happening again around the same area. And then it went away again. So maybe I'm going down the right path where I didn't have a... Usually when you feel something like that, it's gonna, that means it's going to ramp up. Fasten your seatbelt. Get ready for a miserable day. Okay? And uh, you, know, you end up in the urgent care. I'm not even kidding right now. So, but it went away. So I'm playing around. And this is what I did. This is how... I can get a little nutty. So I felt it yesterday after Bodhi and I came back from one of our walks, okay? The same area. I'm like, what's going on? Is it something happening? And I made some, um, I had a couple, I had some red meat. And I'm like, well, one way to find out, let's have some, some of this red meat and we'll see if I eat a high purine thing, if it causes a flare-up, and I'm going to go for it. 
And I have some backup if I need to take something or whatever, but I just wanted to do it. And I did it and everything was okay. So let's just see how it goes. I'm not going to say I'm going to push it and all that, but I've been staying away from the fructose, bad starchy carbs, gone, no sugar. The dairy's been gone. And the dairy might not be even the problem. Now, listen, let me clarify this. Dairy meaning when it comes to the bulletproof or the grass-fed butter or the ghee, you're dealing with mostly protein. You're not dealing with a lot of, um, I think they use the word casein that's in the dairy and a lot of that. It's so like dialed down because of grass-fed, um, organic, and all that. We're not talking about guzzling a, you know, milk out of the carton or having some uh, ice cream, that kind of, or yogurt or that kind of dairy that kind of thing. But I'm paying attention to things that have the milk in it or if they're using that in like some cookies or that say it's keto and all that because as far as keto is concerned, all the cheese is fair game and all that. I'm not doing any of that. I even go almond cheese from Kite Hill, dip the celery sticks in that and that stuff is almond, that almond cream cheese is delish, okay? So as I'm trying to customize this thing, pay attention I didn't panic and I went for it with the red meat. I was like, really like fastening my seatbelt. So we'll see. Now look, I'm, and it, I'm doing something different too when it comes to the morning drink. The morning drink with the apple cider vinegar, I was doing the, um, the cream of tartar and the turmeric and the lemon juice and a little pinch of Himalayan salt. And I was gonna, I was drinking that down like a normal size glass. It was a little bit rough on the stomach. Because it's empty stomach. So what I decided to do instead, okay? Now, I use, I use the, the Voss. V-O-S-S makes uh, purified water. And they got these great glass bottles. They got the smaller ones and the larger ones. And in the larger one, I make what I call the healthy lemonade, okay? And the Kabumi lemonade, if you want to call it. But... It makes it where it's not so strong and you're not guzzling that thing first thing in the morning, um, the, the, uh, the other version, which is a little bit intense. This one, because there's more water in it, right? The water, you take the stevia, liquid organic stevia, squeeze one um, dropper full of that in there, the lemon juice, the apple cider vinegar, the water, the, the Himalayan pink salt, Shake that up and fill it, the rest of it up with water, and you got a nice healthy lemonade. You can use the sparkling water also if you want to, which is kind of the, the San Pellegrino, which is nice and it's refreshing. But because the CO2 is a waste product and the carbonation, I've even pulled back on that just to make it a little more cleaner, all right? More cleaner or just cleaner. <laughs> so... um Okay, so I'm doing that. So I make the large one, right? And I'm guzzling that a little bit in the morning, right? And then throughout the day, I'm sipping on that throughout the day. And I also pay attention to my minerals now or my my electrolytes with the Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder, um, which has got all the electrolytes in it. So I'm paying attention to things I've never paid really attention to before and... Um, Also taking the good supplementation and all of this stuff and, you know, doing the brain formula stuff like the Opti Brain from OHS and I'm doing the brain gels and the smart mode from uh, the Bulletproof guy, the nootropics to get the brain moving around, get the brain pumped up and get the neurology from the brain. Listen, the brain talks to everything else in your body and you got to make sure it's tuned up as my body's going through the healing. So I think because I didn't have a major gout attack with when I felt something down there, just those crystals are moving around as my kidneys are going to start to function better and they they have the ability to get rid of the, um, the extra uric acid and, and become more efficient at it, all right? And the liver's going to get improved too. So this is what I'm talking about. So I got to stay on what I'm doing, Okay. And, uh, you know, intermittent fasting, um, I'm not practicing that too heavy, but 
Usually I'm hitting that 16 hour window a couple times a week, but I'm always hitting the 12 hour window, which you do get benefit, but you don't tap into what they call the autophagy until you hit the 16 hour window and up. Okay. So listen, the 12 hour window, that delayed eating is still a benefit where you don't just first thing you get up and dive into a big pile of pancakes. So I like the healthy lemonade. I'm doing that. It's in a larger container. It's not so concentrated and intense on my stomach and it feels a lot better. And, um, you know, I might be, I have a feeling I'm, I'd be okay with that grass fed butter with the bulletproof, um, and not dive into anything sugary or like real heavy dairy stuff. Cause the grass fed butter is different. It's way more organic and way more dialed in when it comes to keto friendly and uh, healthy fats and things like that. <clears throat> I got a little bit nervous about it. I wasn't sure because I was also combining it with those keto um, keto snacks and those cookies that they made. But I noticed it had some milk in there and stuff like that that they were making the cookies out of and uh, a little bit overboard uh, for me, I think. Now, some things are going to fall into the cheat category, meaning... You know, really, if, you're, if I'm going to be smart about it, the high purine foods, whether it's the seafood or the red meat, uh, things like that, should fall in more into the cheat day category, all right? And which is like a once a week kind of thing. Um, even if it's those fat snacks or something like that, or if I had some kind of desserty whatever, if I chose to it would have to fall into that cheat category also where you're doing it once a week or every other week maybe and see how you do with that. But this is not something you go to. You got to watch it. You got to find out what your triggers are, but you can still not be afraid of it where if you had it once that month, you're not going to be like, oh God, I can't go there because I'm going to have an attack when it's not the case. Now with the supplementation, the healthy lemonade with the apple cider vinegar and the lemon juice, and you're doing these things consistently and the good supplementation, which is anti-inflammatory, and you're getting this lifestyle, this anti-inflammatory lifestyle dialed in, things start to improve. So we're going to stay on it. This whole year is going to be dedicated to figuring out this hybrid Dean Bodie Kabumi diet <laughs> so hey that's what's going on man and we're having a great day over here we're fired up about the super bowl we're going for tampa bay i used to live out there i bartended out there i know tampa so let's go but i also do like mahomes from kc it's awesome and what's going on with the chiefs they're still using the name the chiefs washington is now just called the team they had to change their name I don't know, the Chiefs seem to made it, <laughs> I don't know, underneath the wire with that name. I don't know why they name these teams these things, and I get it. Soon that name will be, maybe they'll have, let them win one more Super Bowl, and uh, then they'll change it. If they lose, they'll probably change it. <laughs> so let's see what happens, and I think it's going to be a great game. Let's just check this Dean Bodie thing one more time. And before I do that, hey man, let's do the jazz version. She's the good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah, the good girl Bodie. Yeah, the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. Bodie hotline, fun line. Call the Bodie line. Say something cool. Say something nice to Bodie. She'd love to hear from you. We'll make it a feature on the show. You know, that's how we do it over here. DeanBodie.com is the website. The links are on there. I want to get you over to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And the social link will get you over to the YouTube channel, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show YouTube channel. Man, I love my Bodie. She's the greatest girl in the world. So let's see what's going on over here. There was a couple of the things I wanted to mention. Oh, these fuzzy sweatpants I got are really driving me nuts. And uh, thanks a lot, God, for the note. And how about a check engine light for the kidneys? Oh, man. Bodie is very good at handball. Bodie has these little tennis balls from Kong. And she's got the larger ones too, but she gets in my room. Sometimes we come back for a walk and she flies into my room and starts smacking around the little tennis balls. Whack. She whacks them under the bed. <laughs> and I know she does it on purpose because I have to go in there and get my Swiffer 
that has the telescoping handle on it, my duster, and knock it out and get it again. And she likes to watch me try to get it. But she can whack it pretty good, man. And um, sign her up, man. She's going pro. So I was thinking the other day, you know, God is perfect and all this stuff. And like, hey, listen, first of all, look at the platypus. Second of all, how about a check engine light on for our kidneys? When things are starting to happen or we're starting to push it a little bit too much, why can't we have some kind of light go off? Why can't we have some kind of like, I don't know, some kind of alarm you know, go off in our brain, letting us know to back off on the, uh, I don't know, the um, holiday Pop-Tarts or whatever, or, you, you know, dial it down with the uh, the Milky Way bars out of the fridge and quit slamming boxes of Mike Ikes and Sour Skittles, you know? No check engine. No check engine for the kidneys. So you have to watch it. Yeah, we got lab work and we got all this other stuff we can do. Who's got the time? Okay. But with Bodie, uh, with the soccer and the check engine light with the kidneys, and I got these. Okay. And then we can probably wrap things up. But man, uh, I have these sweats that I ordered. I don't know. I think something came across my Facebook feed. This is going, I don't know. We're going to over a year easy. And I saw these sweats that look pretty cool. They come. And they are comfortable, but they're made out of this fuzzy, I don't know what they're made out of, not just cotton, this this kind of fabric that attracts every single piece of dust and every one of Bodhi's hairs like a magnet, like a vacuum. And um, even if I take the... um the lint roller brush and go over it. It doesn't even do anything. It's turning into a nightmare where I don't even want to wear them anymore because it, you can't get it off. So nice going sweatpants company, nice going, making it out of something that attracts every, I don't know. And where do these people live in like a bubble where there's no dust anywhere? Anyway, it's getting to the point where I'm throwing, I'm going to throw them both in the garbage and go online and, I don't know, type in um, lint-free sweatpants and see what comes up. <laughs> okay, so these things are a total nightmare. Have an awesome day today, man. Enjoy the game. And I wanted to do it today on Super Bowl Sunday before the game because I just had to, I don't want to do it after. I want to do it now. Super Bowl Sunday. Got the Dolphin shirt on. I'm fired up about the game. I can't wait. Bodie and I are having a great day. And the last thing I want to say is I use a company called Laundry Limo to do my clothes. I've mentioned them before. I actually have a, an episode. I think it's 187, the Laundry Limo, Laundry Limo and my Tumblr. Uh, meaning the coffee tumbler I got from Bulletproof, that's the bomb, keeps things hot for like, I don't know, seven years. But this, um, <clears throat> this company I use is awesome. They're doing a great job. 48-hour turnaround, put the orange bag outside. I don't even have a washer and dryer here. I used to walk down three buildings with my quarters and do it there. Now Laundry Limo, when I had some health issue, they were like, not only did they save my life at the time and keep me from walking with my laundry, but, and I was thinking about buying a washer and dryer because I didn't know what I was going to do. Found Laundry Limo, and I called them up the other day, and I just said, in, in my appreciation, I just want you to know that I made up a jingle for you, which I've sung before on the last, on that episode, um, with the rice a jingle. And I said to her, I think she's one of the owners, and I said, I have a jingle for your business. You want me to sing it to you? <laughs> she goes, sure, go ahead. And I said, laundry limo, the place that does your sheets. Laundry limo, the prices can't be beat. Laundry limo, the Dallas, Texas treat. Oh, yeah. She was laughing hysterically. Like, man, she goes, I might have to hit you up with that. And um, I said, I also wanted to let you know. Well, actually, I hung up with her. Then I called her back, and I, then I let her know that I mentioned it on my podcast, Dean Bodie Show podcast, episode 187. She goes, cool. She goes, can I put that on our website and promote your podcast? I'm like, 
You can do whatever you want with it. Listen to the show. If it's something you like, have fun with it and post it would be great. So look, I'm trying to do little things here and there. I put myself out there a little bit. Talk about getting out of your comfort zone. Hey, get out of your comfort zone today. Sing somebody a song. Say hi to somebody you never said hi to before outside. You know, I don't know. Make a phone call you've been wanting to make you haven't done in a long time. Get out of your comfort zone. It's good for you. And that's when you grow as a person and things start to whatever. Don't bathe yourself in all this COVID, schmovid, pandemic, schmandemic. Keep your immune system strong. Take care of yourself so you can take care of somebody else. Take your supplementation. Eat healthy. Go for your daily walks. This is not rocket science. Stay away from too much of the junk. Keep yourself dialed in. That's what we're trying to do over here. Have an awesome day. Enjoy the Super Bowl. And uh, I don't know what else to say. We're having a great day over here. DeanBody.com. Oh, yeah.